I'm telling you of a man I know personally. This back home in Sydney. Someone I know personally. You know, I'm sure most of you watched this video that I did with Ali Bennett, yeah? I'm sure most of you watched it. And wow, well, mashallah, Allahu Akbar, it's such a nice video. Fine, whatever. Put that aside. I'm sure most of you here think, brother, that if I got cancer, if doctors told me that I had cancer, forget it, bro. I would shut shop, I would leave my work, I would leave my business, and I would spend the rest of my life in Ibadah. Nonsense! You're a liar, man! You're a liar! If you're not doing that now, what makes you think you're going to do that then? <coughs> One of the brothers back home in Sydney, what was supposed to be a blood test, his hand went a bit numb, Young, he was maybe about 38 years old, never prayed in his life. Like most of us, really, in truth, you know, Muslim by name, and, and mashallah, comes from a Muslim home, but never really prayed, too busy, subhanAllah, got other things to do. What was supposed to be a simple blood test, doctors called him back and said to him, come back, man. Wait, what's wrong? Brother, you got cancer. What are you talking about? Me? Yes, you was in the state of denial. Anyway, by the end, he finally convinced. He was finally convinced when he had a minor stroke. Now, khalas, so now he believes it. So naturally, what do you think he would do? You would pull up, yeah? You'd start doing what you got to do. So the brother started coming around telling him, brother, you know, you only have a couple of months to live. You should start praying, start making istighfar, start turning back to Allah. He refused, man. Now I'm sure some of you are thinking, Astaghfirullah, bro, not me, man. <coughs> Why not you? You're perfectly healthy and there's nothing wrong with you and you're refusing. And so the brothers around him said, brother, you only have a couple of months. Look how Shaitan works. When you and I hear that the brother's got cancer, we all start feeling what? Start feeling sorry for him. You know that brother Ali, that brother that was in the video? I said to him, Ali, what's your biggest regret? You know what he said to me? He said to me, my biggest regret is that it took a man in a suit and a tie to make me believe that I'm really going to die. Yet Allah has been telling me all my life and I never believed him. He took a man in a suit and a tie and a fancy and a fancy framed certificate on the back wall. He took that for me to believe with certainty that I'm really going to die now. Yet Allah and His Prophet have been telling me this from day one and I never ever ever believed them. He said, that's my regret. I have to stand before Allah with that sort of faith in my heart. So this brother now, he's 38 years old, he's only been given a couple of months. Brother, pray, turn back to Allah, start making up God, something, anything, man, anything, just don't die like this. He refused. In the months that he was given, you know what happened? His brother that was perfectly healthy died before him. His father died before him. He's still alive and he still refuses to pray. So just before I went to Hajj, someone came to see me that's very close to him. He said, Matthew, you know, do you think maybe you can come and, you know, you're quite good with your dawah and this, that and the other. He's trying to butter me up, trying to convince me to go and try to t talk to him. He said to me, you know, Allah, maybe you can come. And of course, you know, he's concerned. I said to him, Allah, as soon as I come back from Hajj, because he came see me maybe like a day or two before I was going to fly out. I said to him, as soon as I come back from Hajj, I'll come straight to you. You know what happened just before I went to Hajj? In those two days, Allah took, the, Allah took this man's ability to speak away from him. So now even if he wanted to make istighfar, Allah no longer wants to hear it from him. Now yes, what he does in his heart, of course, is between him and Allah. It's not for me to judge. But look at the condition. You know why? Because you live the life of negligence towards Allah. Don't you dare think that Allah SWT is going to give you right at the end just before you die. Don't, please, my brothers, don't be fooled like this.